Hello, Simon here, and this is Maya 0.51. We've now just added missions to the game, so we're going to try out one of these missions. Let's try out SN1572. So the flora of Maya is highly adapted to its environment, evolving quickly in the hostile ecosystem. The plants are as hardy as they are invasive, and we'd like to study them. So we'll place a workshop down, as usual. Place a workshop table so people can get building things. Set up a small base to comfortably house the colonists. NPCVs are readying to bring in more human assets. So we need to complete this objective. So we currently have three colonists, but we need five. And we can bring more in using the capsule timer, but we have to wait another two minutes. So while we do that, we're going to place some doors around the base and get the imp digging out some rooms. They finished the workshop now, which is good. They're having a chat. Oh, no, they've just deferred the job. A lot of balance has gone in, so the colonists will uh, talk and chat with each other a little less, and uh, their social needs are kind of tweaked, so they're a lot more productive now. So we'll simply have to dig that out, and we'll dig out a room over here as well. Since as it's a mission, we know that we're going to have things to do, so we're going to need the space. So we'll build an atmosphere generator before we run out of air. We're also going to need some power for that, so we're going to place a wind turbine or something outside, I think. So they're building the atmosphere generator now, and the imp's digging out. Things go a bit slow when you don't have many people in the base. Um, oh, the daylight here is especially strong to the equatorial location, but the days are short. Build solar panels complemented with a flywheel energy storage system. So I need to um, build some solar arrays outside. And as you can see, we've got a lot of emails, so we should delete some of these or read them. And we've got these objectives now, so these have times as well. But they're pretty generous. Um, we've done some kind of solid playtesting on these. It should be doable for most players. But enough to put a little bit of stress on you to get these things done. You might have to cancel other jobs or lock doors or uh, you know uh, increase the lighting or tweak people's moods a bit to make them a bit more aggressive. So place a nanoscale printer so we can get some more imps so we can get digging faster. So they're building stuff outside. Guys going on a little patrol. And the time is nearly done, so we can call in some new colonists in a second. Four, three, two, one, lift off, or touch down, even. So, capsule landing is complete. We've just ticked off that objective as well, so you can see so that's got an X in it, and that will tick off now. So they're quite away from the base. Which looks like a long walk. For longer walks now, we also have um, the suit refill point, which will allow you to um, send colonists out on, on longer walks on the surface and they can refill their suits on way with food and supplies. So they're building those solar panels. And I knew coming will be a while still because I think they're a good 200 meters away. So one of the things that's been uh, changed to 0.51 is the chickens. They're now, um, the AIs have been upgraded a lot so they're like the other creatures so they have wants and needs um, and they can die. Um, when you want them to start breeding you actually need to make sure they're fed and they have a good environment. So we'll build this livestock containment room. once it's built the chickens will go in there and start breeding. They're 
good food source now, but you actually have to feed them to produce enough kilocalories for them to be practical. So you actually have to have other food sources that you can put into it. So ecological research, research is the order of the day, collection and computation. So we need to get a computer terminal and a lab. As you can see, there's no timer on that objective, so we know that we don't have to rush to do it. So we've got a decent amount of power coming from the wind turbine. Oh, people having a hug. So those, those people have formed some sort of friendship there. Um, every creature, oh, this dog. Every creature in the game um, now builds relationships to other objects that it uses, and so they uh, they become kind of slightly aware of who they know and who they like and what they dislike. Objects they dislike using, um, they'll form preferences towards using certain objects and weight their choices towards them. that noise was, I just had an email come up, but I was immediately killed it. Um, so the solar arrays are done, which is good. So we just need to build that flywheel system. We've just got 10 minutes still to do it. Every object in the game now, when you place it, if it uses power, it tells you exactly how much power it needs. Um, before people complained because it was a bit guesswork, um, but now kind of that, that information is there for you. Um, there are lots of little kind of gooey changes like that in this build um, so things that weren't so clear are a little bit clearer now obviously we're working on uh, a lot more information to be presented to the player but I want to do it right so I'm not going to rush in so there's our little robots ready and by the look of it that guy's probably come to build that flywheel so we've got the livestock but we're going to place some feeders in there so you need to make sure your chickens are fed now they also need atmosphere, otherwise they can die. It's very hard to kill them, um, but they do have a issue with self-immolation still, as they've always had. So try not to set them alight. So we've built that repair bot, uh, which will, ah, there you go, has come to life. That will move around the base and fix things. With the repair bots, um, I wanted them to have a really stupid AI, but people uh, didn't like the way they were moving around the base in trains. So I, I racked up their AI a bit, and they're more kind of akin to a dumb creature like a chicken. So they'll, they'll kind of spread out tasks. If they see another robot going to another task, they won't do that one. So we've got our avian feeders in. So those like ration packs uh, store kilojoules of food and the chickens will feed off them and then when the chickens have fed enough they'll start breeding. So we're going to build a lab in here. So we can build that computer terminal objective. Over here we'll build a living area because we need some beds before people start dying of exhaustion. I think we'll probably make this a bit bigger actually. There's the flywheels. So it's saying that flywheels are useful, but they need to be replaced with supercapacitors later. And we have a solar event warning. So these, uh, it's not actually a scripted part of the mission. You get these uh, in the regular sandbox. This is what causes those. Uh, effects outside with the scorching and the um, interference on your electrical systems. I think we've already missed this one, um, but you've got to be careful with these solar events because uh, they can damage your equipment, but also they're potentially dangerous for colonists. And they become injured if they're out on them too long and you'll need to build a medical room. So let's build this terminal computer and a tape storage drive and 
and some other research gibbons. The uh, research is now far better balanced. It's been split off into many different needs, so colonists will understand the difference between needing a computer to enter data uh, versus the need to do the research itself and the collection of data. Um, these things will make building the research room a lot more sensible and make them do research in a more, more kind of um, predictable manner. Or perhaps not predictable. Efficient. So you can see the chickens are in there, and they're uh, starting to breed, so we've got a baby chicken already. And the imps are wandering around doing nothing. There's the other chicken going to that room as well. dig out more areas over here so we can connect up these rooms. It's good to make sure the base is kind of efficient that people can move around in different areas. If not you end up with a uh, issue where you want people to do things quickly and, and things, things are getting locked up. See, there's not too many things. Ah, so we've just had an objective to uh, place some uh, defenses because there are some creatures nearby. I just deleted the email for it, never mind. Um, so we'll place some bounding mines and a turret outside. Let's see if any of the creatures are nearby. No. I'm tweaking the AI of the creatures uh, for this update so they, they will become a bit more territorial. At the moment, they leave you alone a little too much. I'm getting a lot of earthquakes. So yeah, the frequency of these earthquakes is a bit much more dangerous needed for a risk assessment. So build a seismic station outside your base. So I'll just take this out and we've now got a vent inside the base which is bad because we'll lose atmosphere. But at the same time it's good because we can then turn that into a geothermal vent um, and use it for energy. I'm going to build this uh, Seismic station. And I'm going to build a microwave communications tower so we can actually get some research data back off it. You don't need the tower to complete the objective. I felt it's slightly unfair to force people to have to build tons of things. but the microwave communication style will give us research data. So I'll stop the recording here before I spoil the whole of the mission. Um, as you can see, the game now has quite a bit more content to check out. There are lots of new items, a whole pile of bug fixes, and these new missions alone probably add up to three hours new gameplay to the game. I'll be back with another update at the beginning of December, and I will see you then. So have a good one.